sign of Aries. Hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember I'll be going through the past, present, challenge, and outcome. And the bottom cards are paired with the top cards. So Aries, in the recent past, we have the judgment card. Now this card is about jumping to conclusions, decisions, and of course judgments that were made too hastily. So if you were prone to doing such things, this is a clear signal that you needed to slow down and give things more thought and give people more chances. This also would have been a time of spiritual awakening. And the judgment card is paired with the three of cups. Now, this card is often considered to be a card of reunions, but it's not always a romantic reunion. It's reunion in the broadest sense, running back into or meeting with someone or something that you had been away from for some time. Now, it generally considered to be a happy reunion. And this is an upbeat card. So it should have been a happy reunion because this is an upbeat card and this card means celebration. Now your own or someone that you care about, such as the celebration of a new baby, a wedding, or a happy, or a happy occasion would have been the situation in the recent past. And we move on to the present. We have the Four of Swords. Now, as you can see in the picture, this card signifies a break or a need for a break from normal life. This can also mean that you or someone in your life, they could withdraw for a time. This could be you or someone in your life. Now this withdrawal is not likely to be permanent, just temporary. It's also occasionally, it also occasionally means illness or time in the hospital, or it could mean in jail or prison, but it doesn't have to be that uh, serious. Uh, illness could mean just a uh, bad cold or the flu. Um, so, uh, like I said, these things don't have to be as serious as you're probably thinking. When you hear the word illness, uh, it could go um, something mild or something something heavy. Uh, okay, but it just depends on your situation. Now, it's a clear signifier to give people their space. Okay, if you feel someone's withdrawing or you feel a need to withdraw, you should take the space or if you feel someone is needing space, just give it to them. Also at this time, others, they could be pushing too hard for bits of your attention and time. So don't hesitate, don't hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself and just say no. On the other side, when others say no to you, take them at their word because pushing in this circumstance is asking for trouble and the four of swords is paired with the ace of pentacles it's more than likely you'll find yourself enjoying new beginnings on several levels now this is a very positive new beginning you're likely to be feeling optimistic upbeat and hopeful about your future Things should be going really well now. And you could also start something new very soon. Now this could be in the area of work or personally, but either way, it's gonna be a good thing. And with these two cards paired together, the Four of Swords, it signifies a need for, for a break. You need a break from normal life. Now this could mean you 
or your person. Okay? So, uh, others are pushing too hard for bits of your attention. Don't hesitate to withdraw if that's what you need to do. And it's paired with the Ace of Pentacles. Go ahead and withdraw. Take a break. Uh, rejuvenate yourself because the Ace of Pentacles is all about new beginnings, positive new beginnings. So you're probably experiencing, experiencing the need for a break or space because you're about to have new beginnings come your way on many different levels or many different areas. And uh, new beginnings, uh, they're, they're upbeat, hopeful, optimistic new beginnings and things will be going very well from you after you take this break but the break is much needed so don't hesitate to take it and that's going to be in the present now we move on to the challenge we have the death card now just to explain the death card uh, it's not as scary as a lot of people think okay so the death card it does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death in fact it's considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death as we are creatures with free will okay with we're, we're creatures with free will and such things they're not written in stone now this card it simply indicates transformation and change this is definitely a time of deep transformation it's likely to be both internal and externally in your life because situations things and people that you've count that you've counted on or gotten used to they may no longer be available to you in quite the same way as they once were now this transition can be a very difficult transition for some people but not everyone the change is nearly always needed and the death card is paired with the four of wands. Now the four of wands, it indicates that you may be attending a social event, one which will be way more fun than you, than you ever anticipated. So go and have a great time. Business is likely to be going very well at this time. You'll, you'll be proud of yourself and others will be proud of you too. Although this is a very positive card in a reading, it shows a need to keep your wits about you. And although you deserve and should treat yourself to some fun now, but know that you are still in a building up phase and now is not the time to rest completely on your laurels. This card can also sometimes mean that you will be moving your place of residence. And with these two cards paired together, the death card, it just, it explains that you're in a time of deep transformation and change. And it's needed. It may not feel like it at the time, but this deep transformation and change is well needed. Okay, and once you experience this change, you go into the Four of Wands. You could be taking a trip, a cruise, or going someplace, and it's gonna be much more fun than you anticipated. Okay, but you have to remember you have to keep the, your wits about yourself, okay? There's going to be a need for that. Keep your wits about yourself. Have fun. And just remember that you're still in a building up phase. And it could be because of 
the deep transformation that you made from the death card. You're in a building up phase and um, uh, just know that this four of wands is a very positive card in a reading. So keep your wits about you and um, like I said if you if you're planning a trip it's going to be or, or, or if you're going somewhere or if you have an event to go to go make sure you go to it don't cancel it because it's going to be much more exciting and much more fun than you anticipate it and it'll help you overcome whatever experience that you could be having from the death card because some people don't handle change that easy so then the, keep in mind the change could be something minor like maybe your daughter is going away to college and then you have to adjust to a, a new life because she's gone it could be something like that it, it doesn't have to be anything crazy so it's not always it's not always a bad card um, and that's going to be the challenge. And then we move on to the outcome. We have the Hermit card. Now, the Hermit card is a spiritual card. Uh, just like the strength, the strength card, you may even more so be in the frame of mind that you need some time alone. So you still uh, feel like you need time alone, probably. Uh, don't be afraid to take it. Even if it's just a five minute walk around the house or around the park so that you can clear your head, clear your thinking. Um, this card is very much about trying very hard to do the right thing. Just make sure that you're doing the right thing or just make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally and not just worrying about the wants and needs of others and the hermit card is paired with the six of cups now it's about nostalgia looking back on how things used to be it can be but not always connected with children or childhood it's important not to spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time, but if we start thinking about the best of all the years have gone by, then that can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. So with these two cards paired together, the Hermit card is basically letting you know you probably feel like you want to spend some time alone. Don't be afraid to take it. Uh, even if it's just a quick walk around the house, outdoors, or a quick walk around the park. Okay, so that's what the Hermit card, and it's paired with the Six of Cups. It's about looking back on how things used to be. Okay, so, you see, it's, to me it sounds like you're stuck in your head about something. Um, so take some time for yourself, even if it requires just relaxing and, um, cause you're, you're looking back and then, um, you could be looking back on your childhood days or your, it's connected to children, the six of cups. So it's about the good old days, but you don't want to stay stuck there in your head about this because it can become a self-fulfilling prophecy prophecy and that's going to be the outcome so Aries I hope this resonates as you know general readings they don't always resonate then again if you like this reading please like subscribe leave a comment if that's what you care to do I thank you so very much for watching and have a great day watching and have a great day watching and have